Jamie Nelson says she was never given the chance to protect her son from a convicted child abuser because she says his school covered up this assault. She also believes there was more than one attack, but says the school district is still stonewalling her so she doesn't know for sure. What she does know is that even though this is hard to watch, she wants you to see what happened here so she can try to make sure it never occurs again. You did that, huh? Jamie Nelson can never forget her son's screams for help. Our job is to protect our kids and the school didn't give me that chance because they hid it from me. Jamie says it took her weeks to learn what happened to her seven year old on the school bus. This bus aide was recently convicted of child abuse from this incident. But Jamie says even though it happened 18 months ago, she still doesn't have answers or an apology from Ann Arbor Public Schools. I mean, it can't happen again. I'm disgusted that it happened once, and I'm fearful that there's no reason it would change if someone didn't come forward. Jamie's son is autistic and severely emotionally impaired. Back in December of 2021, she fought to get him into a special education program at Carpenter Elementary. But after his first day, when he got off the school bus, Jamie knew something was seriously wrong. He ran past me, ran in the house, slammed the door, and actually locked me out, something he has never done in his life. And the bus aide gets off the bus, and she is worked up, and she said, they say I can't hit him, so I don't know what you want me to do. Jamie says she was stunned and asked why the aide had not been told that her son was special needs, especially because each of the kids on that special ed bus are in the same program. She would call me and say, like, I'm about to videotape him and show you what he's doing. And, and then she would threaten him while she was on the phone with me, saying things like, you're going to get in trouble when you get home. And I said, that doesn't work with him. Jamie alerted the school right away about the bus aid and her son's intense reaction every time he got home. She says she wasn't told for five weeks that this is what really happened just days after her son started at the school. Bus aide Rashonda Jefferson can be seen on video aggressively slamming the child into a seat and then puts him in a harness, something Jamie says is illegal for her son. <laughs> You can see the aide hit the child while he's restrained. Then the terror for the boy continues as he tries to get away and gets caught in the harness straps. I don't know how anyone in the world couldn't help a child. And she stood there and she said, I'm not going to help you. You got yourself into this. Once the boy frees himself, the aide then tells the bus full of special needs students that they could all go to jail. That's OK. He's going to jail. What? You all going to go to jail. Even though she kept asking school officials questions about her son's extreme distress, Jamie says it took more than a month for Carpenter's principal to reveal in this email that there have been two incidents shared that have resulted in unsafe conditions for her son and other students on the bus. Jamie asked to see the video of those incidents, but was only allowed to see this footage months later when the police got involved. He didn't get on that bus. Adults in authority who could have saved him put him on that bus and told him to walk up those stairs with that woman still there. And that's not all. Jamie says she later learned that several special ed students on that bus told officials at the school right away about the assault. Yet Jamie says nothing was done. That's why she feels now she has no choice but to sue the district, the bus company, and the school principal. It took months and repeated formal requests. Megan Banani and Danielle Canepa are Jamie's attorneys. What stands out to me about this case is the indifference of the school administrators when they became aware of the reports from children about the abuse of the child in this case. Our concern is that if this had happened on a bus carrying a general population of students, there would have been emails sent district-wide. The aide would have been immediately taken off of the bus and an investigation would have ensued. Jamie and her lawyers say they want to see the laws improved in Michigan to keep kids safe. What do you want to see changed on a statewide level? Protection for children from the moment they walk into the doors of the school until they walk into the doors of their home. 
and this didn't happen here. Jamie says she's grateful the bus aide was convicted and won't be able to work with children again. But she says her son's trauma is still ever present. The world is already hard for him. You know, it's hard for special needs kids. And the last thing he needs is one more thing. Like the last thing he needs is another trauma, another reason to mistrust people, another reason to be scared in this world. A spokesman for Ann Arbor Public Schools sent us a statement that says in part, quote, the safety of students and staff is always the top priority of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. Staff at Carpenter Elementary and the transportation team followed appropriate procedures in responding to this unfortunate incident. AAPS and the Durham transportation team removed the offending individual from duty on the day the incident was observed on the video and contacted Child Protective Services immediately. I have also reached out to the bus aide, but so far she and her attorney have not responded to us. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.